Hey everyone, this is Jove with Jove's Gaming Lounge. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install DS4 Windows so that this way we can pair our PlayStation 4, PS5, and Nintendo Switch controllers to our PC. Now, normally, if you have a regular Bluetooth connection, these peripherals will actually connect. However, you'll notice that in certain games that you try, these controller inputs are not picked up. And that's because the game is expecting an Xbox controller and not something else especially running on a Windows PC. So the solution for that will be DS4 Windows. Here we have the GitHub page of the most recent release of DS4 Windows by the developer Ryochan. And it shows that this was forked from the J's 2 Kings DS4 Windows. To download this, you'll go to releases and you're gonna need .NET runtime for x64 and x86 prior to installing this down in the assets section. This is where you'll download the version of DS4 that you will need. They're packaged in 7-zip or zip, and it's gonna be x64 or x86. This depends if you have a 64-bit system, which if you're in a modern system, you're gonna go with 64-bit. But if you have an older system, 32-bit system, you're gonna use the, the, the x86 version. I'm gonna go ahead and download. Any one of these will work fine. I have 7-zip, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Okay, I went ahead and downloaded it and placed it here on my desktop. We're gonna go ahead and extract it. So I'm gonna use 7-zip to extract here. We have our DS4 Windows folder. And as you can see that this is a portable application. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna place this where I wanna store this program and not on my desktop. So find wherever you wanna put it away and that's where it will run from. Okay. So I have it where I want it now. First thing you need to do, go ahead and launch DS4 Windows. It's gonna say, where do you want the files to be saved? I like to keep it in the program folder. You're gonna get a prompt to allow it, just say yes. And you're gonna be notified that drivers are not installed. So you're gonna need to do this. This is the intro window here. We're gonna expand this. We have two optional steps here. So hide, hide, driver, and baker input. I typically don't use these. We're gonna go for a more simple setup and we're gonna install this driver. And then from there, we'll be able to use it right away. So we'll click on step one. We'll click next, let it set up where it needs to, accept the terms and continue. gonna let you know that you need to restart your computer and like I said these steps are optional here read through this and see if you need any of these what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click finished I'm gonna close this out and I'm gonna restart the computer and then I'll come back and open up the program and show you an example of connecting the controllers all right now that we have restarted our computer I'm back in the folder and what I'm gonna do is for convenience sake we're gonna make a shortcut to our desktop here we can close this out and then we can relaunch it. A quick note about this. You do not need to have a Bluetooth connection to use this. However, if you're going to use a controller, you're going to need to connect it via the USB cable to the computer. So don't worry if you don't have Bluetooth on your computer or if you do not have a Bluetooth dongle. Just plug in via USB to the computer and the program should recognize the controller. What you're gonna need to do is, for instance, the best example I have here is I have a PS4 controller. What you wanna do is hold the share button and the PS button until you start to see your lights blink on the controller. Now that the lights are blinking on your controller, you wanna pair it to your computer. So you wanna go to your Bluetooth settings, add Bluetooth or other device, Bluetooth, Click on wireless controller or for other controllers, they may have the names on it where this PS4 controller typically shows up as wireless controller for me. So we'll hit done. We'll close it. And then we see that it's set up as a virtual Xbox 360 controller, which is compatible with every PC game that you'll play. Certain games that I play like Dead by Daylight does not recognize a PlayStation controller plugged in unless I do DS4 Windows. However, a game like Genshin Impact 
recognizes the PlayStation controller without DS4 windows. Right. Once we have our controller linked here on DS4 windows, there's actually a few things we can actually do here. We head on over to settings and you find it. You don't like the light theme. Dark theme. You can have this run at startup. You can have it hide the DS4 controller. You can have it disconnect from Bluetooth when stopping, which is actually something I like to do because it actually preserves some battery life on the controller. So we'll disconnect from Bluetooth when stopping this program. Another thing I like to do is go into the profiles. We'll double click on default. It shows us some information here about our controller. You can actually configure your controllers to use different button layouts here if you need to. We could go to controller readings here, and this is where you can see the gyro on the uh, six axis. We're just tilting the controller around here. See the pressure from the L2 and R2 buttons. See if they're fully pressed or not. And one thing you may want to tweak here are the dead zones. As you can see, that's actually a little too loose right there. Some people like the dead zones just a little bit bigger. So if we go left side input, I just made it 18. I just went up one tick. We're going to go on the right side and we'll do the same there. And some may find that 18 is a bit too big. So we could actually just dial it in manually here. 15. We'll go to the next one here again. 15. And find us to your comfort level. On light bar, we can actually change the color that shows up on the controller. Right now I have it blue. I'm going to go ahead and make it red. Okay, have it start flashing at 20% battery or 15. I'd like to make it 10. And you can choose a color here. So I'm going to go ahead and make it yellow. Yellow is nice and bright. We'll click save up top. Now your settings are saved. Now to show you an example of the controller working. We'll go to X emu. We'll go to input. And you can see that it's reading an Xbox 360 controller. However, we have a PlayStation 4 controller connected to our computer. Same will work out if you connect a DualSense controller, a set of Joy-Cons, and or the uh, Switch Pro controller. If you find yourself playing certain games and those inputs are not being picked up, and it doesn't recognize it as a controller. DS4 Windows is your best choice. Not everyone needs to go out and buy an Xbox controller to play games on PC or to play emulators. If you found this video helpful, give the video a like, share it around with a friend, subscribe for more helpful tutorials such as this one. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.